of all the personalities of the 16th century Reformation, by far the most familiar is Martin Luther, the son of a Thuringian minor, and by human standards, a most unlikely candidate for leading a major spiritual reawakening. Yet anyone familiar with God's methods is keenly aware that his ways are not our ways. In retrospect, Martin Luther was probably the ideal individual to unloose the voices of the people of God within Germany, both in learning of him through his word and praying to him in a language they could fully understand, and also in praising him together in song. He was an accomplished and enthusiastic musician and sought to infuse the new movement with new songs of praise to God. A biographer, interestingly also named Martin Luther, wrote the following in 1884. The two great works of Martin Luther were those by which he gave to the common people a vernacular Bible and vernacular worship, that through the one God might speak directly to the people, and in the other the people might speak directly to God. Luther's Bible and Luther's hymns gave life not only to the churches of the Reformation, but to German nationality and the German language. The following hymn, Nun freut euch lieben Christen gemein, written in 1523 and published in the following year, is one of Martin Luther's earliest hymns and is the most personal and autobiographical of all his hymns. It also reflects his determination to make the tunes accessible to the whole congregation for both men and women, a revolutionary concept at that time, and to provide variation and instrumentation within the piece, which also represented a radical departure from not only Roman Catholic liturgical music, but also the unaccompanied metrical psalms soon to be written and sung within the Reformed Church's congregational worship. With the forthright simplicity for which he was known, Luther once candidly stated, why should the devil have all the good music?
Wir sprachen. 